and welcome to Hammer's Pokemon. And today I have a couple of three pack blisters from Vivid Voltage, the brand new set just released today as of video. I mean, so this is the 13th of November. I'm not sure when I'm going to release this, but um, there are actually two different types of these. Um, one is Vaporeon, I believe, one is uh, Sobble. And I could not find the Sobble anywhere. I went to two different Walmarts looking for these. Um, I didn't. I didn't buy a whole bunch of them. I bought four. There were there were loads of loads left over, but they were all Vaporeons. There was not one single Sobble. So I don't know what that's about. But um, I, I picked up just four of these. Um, they also had loads and loads of individual packs, but I didn't. I didn't buy any of the individual packs. I just decided to go with uh, buying a few of the three pack blisters to get the. Uh, Really to get the Vaporeons. I feel like the Vaporeons might hold some value maybe in the future. Uh, hard to say if they will or won't. Um, but, but obviously Evolutions are, are popular. So I just, I just, I don't know. I just kind of fancied getting three pack blisters. I kind of prefer them a little bit anyway. Um, I will separate the two three pack blisters and see and sort of compare the pools between the two. See if there's anything special in them. Um, here's the, the coin. The coin is the same in every single one that I've got. It is a Lugia. Pop that there. Here is the promo. A Vaporeon with its water shroud. As long as this Pokemon is on your bench, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attack. So uh, if your opponent's using the spread attack deck, then, um, then that's pretty handy. There you go. There's two... Vaporeon codes for you there for the two Vaporeon promos. Yeah, so if your opponent's using a spread attack, that actually might be a somewhat usable, somewhat usable card. Um, I don't know though. I don't think it's going to see any any real play unless unless it's something that you really really want on your uh, in your water deck. So I didn't have any real luck in the first. So I did, I did open two off camera um, with a friend at work. Opened two blisters. Didn't really get anything good. I got one hollow, I think, and five green card codes. So pretty useful, useless. Uh, let's have a look at the trainers, though, because this is the first time we're really looking at Vivid Voltage. Discard the top five cards of your deck and attach any energy cards you discard in this way to your benched fighting type Pokemon any way you like. Uh, if you've got a way of, like, feeding out, getting the stuff out of the discard pile, that might be quite useful. If you use, like, a training cards that are cycling stuff back out of your out of your uh, discard pile, that could be quite useful. So tail a reverse and, ooh, a hollow Genesect. So first time I've seen Genesect holographic, linear attack and techno, techno blast. I feel like it's some sort of uh, disco Pokemon there. Very good, very good indeed. Nice to see a white card code. Yeah, like I said, I literally got one, one uh, white card code in the, in the three pack blister and it was a, what was it? It was a Shaman Hollow, uh, which looked cool. But uh, again, like, don't think it's, don't think it was particularly playable in any description. Moo Moo Cheese, looking like a slab of Bree there. Heal 30 damage from two of your Pokemon that have energy attached. That's pretty cool. Again, another really good card if you have, um, if your opponent has a spread attack uh, deck. So that could really go in line there with the Vaporeon. So that's kind of cool. Nice to see a little bit of synergy there. Uh, Don Fan Reverse, which is a reverse rare, very nice, and a Crocodile, which I actually got in the last, uh, in my one of the other three pack blisters, I actually got it in reverse. So that's the second time that I'm seeing Crocodile already out of uh, eight packs, but uh, that's okay. Uh, ooh, a Whooper, very nice. Uh, on to pack number three. Enjoy the card code. Hopefully, you guys are getting something really cool online. Uh, I do play the online game a little bit. Um, but I'm I'm always like way happier to like give out the card codes to you guys. Memory capsule. The Pokemon uh, this card is attached to can use any of its previous ev attacks from evolution. So that's really good. That's a really good card. I do like that. Um, if you've got something that a previous evolution has an attacker or something, so um, that's actually really cool. Cremoran reverse and a Lucario non holographic. Cremoran is just an uncommon. So crazy, nine packs officially into the set, and I am yet to pull anything other than a hollow, two hollows. So the set isn't really filling me with the uh, greatest of joy. Really hoping that there's a little something in this second three packs. I don't have anything on pre-order for this set. Normally I buy a booster box um, or elite trainer boxes on pre-orders, but um, with the way that it's all shook out with... Um, 
the way that it all shook out with the uh, everything being so expensive i just i just chose not to buy i chose not to buy any um most it was hard to pre-order anyway um it was hard to to get hold of like pre-orders for this set and a lot of stuff that i'm seeing online is uh, much more expensive so i'm seeing a lot of uh really expensive stuff like like I'm seeing elite trainer boxes for like fifty five to sixty dollars. I'm sure I could have potentially pre ordered them a long time ago for cheaper, um, but and I'm not even finding them in the stores, which is really upsetting. Joltik, and there we go, the first V of the set, tenth pack in, and it is Ampharos V. I don't think this has any real playability. Let's have a little look at the attacks. Dazzle Blast, your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused. Uh, and damaging spark 120. This attack does 30 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So there's one of those sort of spread attackers that I was talking about. Uh, that's not terrible, actually. Um, it's not a terrible attack there. So nice to see at least one V. I was, I'm really happy to at least get one. Um, I was kind of like worried that I was going to get 12 packs in with absolutely no pulls whatsoever, but it is nice to see. Um, something of note. Okay, two packs left. So far, definitely, obviously, that is the best best pack. I've got a little bit of plastic stuck to my hand there. Let me get it off. Oh, a Nessa. I think this card's quite cool um, for water type decks. Put up to four in any combination of a water Pokemon and energy cards from your discard pile into your hand. Um, so if you have, uh, if you've lost a, a, a Pokemon with a lot of energy that's going to cycle a lot of energy back directly into your hand if you're like struggling for energy so I really like that for the water type decks I think that is pretty handy Whale Lord first time I'm seeing this this looks pretty cool uh, let's see what its ability is whenever you attach a energy card from your hand to this Pokemon it recovers from all special conditions interesting and a Yamega so a reverse rare which is good to see on to the sixth and final pack, and the third and final pack from this blister, um, which spat already spat out a Pokemon V card at me, so I'm not really expecting a whole lot from this final pack, but let's see if it can give me anything at all. See if there's any more decent trainers in here. There are none, but a Stunfisk with a counter-attack ability. If this Pokemon is in the active spot and is damaged by an attack from your opponent's Pokemon... Uh, put three damage counters on the attack Pokemon. So yeah, that's a typical Stunfisk with its sort of like defensive abilities that it has. Very cool looking Voltorb. I'm a collector of Voltorb, so that will go straight into my collection. Wisma reverses all wash energy. Um, let's see. So we know that it's a water energy. Prevent all effects of attacks from your opponent's Pokemon done to water Pokemon. That, what? Prevent all effects of attacks from your opponent's Pokemon done to the water Pokemon this card is attached to. Oh, that seems weird. And a McGinna Hollow, so another holographic. Um, lots of hollows. Normally, like, I feel like in recent sets, I haven't really had a lot of holographics. Um, like, for instance, if I buy a booster box, I get, like, five or six hollows, but I've managed to pull three hollows out of 12 packs, which seems kind of weird to me. Anywho... Uh, it's McGinnis with its overhaul. Shuffle your hand into your deck, then draw six cards. That's pretty good. Um, and wind up cannon. This attack does twenty more damage for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So yes, you could do one hundred and ten for two for two energy. That's not too shabby if your if your opponent's loaded up their bench. So very interesting. Um, a couple of pulls. Obviously, there are, there is there's a lot in this set. The cards to really go for are the Pikachu V Max Rainbow Rare, which we're looking at currently worth two hundred and fifty to three hundred dollars. There are um, what else is there? Zerud is in here, which is a really cool card. Looks um, it's the first time we're seeing that as a as a card. Um, there are lots and lots of trainers, lots and lots of Alakazam is in this, of course. Full Art Alakazam, which is a awesome looking card. Um, would really, really like to get that. So thanks a lot, guys, for hopping on by. Anyway, please like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, it's goodbye.